Hi guys, I'm Cooper101, and today I'm showing you my first handmade 3x3 modification. So leave a like, subscribe, and enjoy the video. So basically what this is, is Tetradecagon 3x3. It has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 sides. The reason why I'm making this video is actually because... I didn't have a, I lost the video um, of me making it and I couldn't get the files back. So now it's just, now I have to explain to you everything I did through memory. So it should be fun. The puzzle is fully functional. I used 12 colors to sticker this puzzle. And on two sides, the 13th and the 14th side, I merged all the colors together from these sides. I decided to use um, what colors you would usually see on a mirror cube. Right here. Purple opposite of red, because why not? And then pink opposite of orange. Pink is the only other color that was available for me. And then white opposite of yellow, of course. Alright, let's get this back to its solved state. And... Let me explain to you how I made this. So, it all started on um, August 27th when I decided I wanted to make my first modification. I didn't know where I was going. My dog had chewed up my Rubik's Cube. Here's a picture of it right now. It's the only files I managed to pick back up was a picture of the chewed up Rubik's Cube. And then I have to explain the rest of it. Okay, so that's the picture of the chewed up Rubik's Cube. Anyways, so basically I peeled off all the chewed up, chewed up stickers, just one by one. It took about like 10 minutes to do all of it. And then after that, um, the cube was kind of like a black force cube. It was not cut up like this yet. It was just a square. It was just a cube. And, okay, so I just unstickered it. It looked all scratched up and everything. I actually had to sand each face down to make it look not scratched up. And then, after that, I got my hacksaw out. And I basically came up with an idea to kind of make um, octahedral cuts um, from here all the way down here. And, and then, like, cut, like this point right here now actually you can see that I cut a little bit too deep on each of these corners uh, I learned from that mistake and will never happen again the reason why is because I had to basically make the whole corners and let me show you one of the corners for example so yeah these are not very good stickers um I don't know why that just happened okay I'll super glue that later, but basically this corner, um, basically, basically, this whole section right here is made out of epoxy sculpt, and it's a little, wait, hold up, so, this whole entire part right here, this whole, like, from here all the way to here, all of that is made out of epoxy sculpt, and you have, like, one little tiny piece, a corner, and then, uh, of course, this, this piece that turns inside of the cube. It, like, makes the corner attached to the rest of the pieces. Okay, so it was this little tiny piece right here and a little tiny bit of a cor corner left right here, of the corner that I had here left. And the reason why is because one of the caps of the corners fell off. And while I was cutting, I didn't know that they fell off. And then I threw them away. They were in the dump truck forever. Yeah, I couldn't get them back. So I had to make them basically... My cat is being annoying. I had to make, basically make them... And that's why they look so sharp. They don't look good. But for a really... For a first puzzle, it is a really, really awesome. I think I did really good. Um, and... I think for a first modification... Oh, these stickers suck. I think for a first modification, I think it is a really good puzzle. 
next after cutting all the pieces it looked like this but like basically like it had a bunch of holes in it now i actually remade a cube to kind of show you what it looked like after so like i recut a cube to show you what it looked like before i filled it up i'm gonna go grab it right now all right guys so this is kind of what it looked like except a, a whole cap of the um on the corners were off and yeah, so this is what it looked like. And then after, after I was done, I actually just super glued the inside of the pieces so that when I filled up the um, milliput, filled up, filled the pieces up with milliput, uh, the pieces wouldn't be like, um, and like going apart from each other, like spreading apart from each other. Anyways, um, what I did was instead of getting the stupid black middle putt, I decided it was it because the pro it was a little bit cheaper. It was nine ninety nine instead of fifteen dollars. I filled up the pieces that white in each of them, and then like I raised it a little bit above the piece, just a little bit, and then I had it just above the piece on every single side. I messed up. I, I filled up every side a little bit too much, so I had to cut it down to the right shape and these corners kept coming up the epoxy sculpt kept detaching from the corners so I had to keep putting on super glue and attaching the epoxy sculpt but then I decided that there's no other way other than just to be very careful with these corners and make sure that I'm very fragile with it or else the epoxy sculpt will just come right off because it doesn't bond very well with the corner but yeah so I had a lot of trouble with the way I cut and I had to like extend the pieces and also I had to take this out to show you I had to make one of these edges because one of the on the I think it's on this edge right here you can tell this edge looks way nicer than this edge and the reason why is because I had to literally make like half of this edge like all of epoxy sculpt so like all of this this whole this whole side right here. Let's see if I can show you. And this whole side was made out of milliput, and this is the milliput right here. Make it in a certain way to where it could it, the puzzle could still turn. It was very agonizing. Yeah, so I messed up that piece too. And you can tell that I used white um a, a milliput just by the little white the little white lines that are still on each of the pieces because the spray paint starting to wear off. I also had to do it on this edge too. Because I messed up a cap on this one too. So yeah, just a bunch of mistakes that I had to learn from. And after I was done with the agonizing part of literally just filling, I had to wait for the pieces to dry for like, and keep filling and then drying and keep filling and then drying and then keep filling and then drying for five days. And the reason why is because the pieces had to dry overnight and then my dad actually, thank God for the idea he came up with, he came up with the met, uh, an idea that I put it in the car, and at the time, it was right before the end of summer. So, I put it in the car, and the pieces dried within two hours. And that, and if I would have known that on the first day, I would have, yeah, I would, I was setting it outside for five days until it was dark. Because when it turned dark, it was like 35 degrees out there, and then when it was daytime, it was like 87, 90. So I had to take it back in, but. I'm so glad he told me about putting it in the car when he did. Anyways, after I filled all the pieces and all the pieces dried, by the time um, it was done, it was September 9th. So it was September 9th when I was done filling the pieces. And I started this on, on August 27th. So it was a very long process of filling and after that I had to sand okay so I sanded and then I did I, I sanded using these sheets right here these sandpaper it's right here 80 grit 60 grit and 150 grit six I regret using 60 60 grit I wish I would have used 80 grit and the reason why is because a more of the caps fell off because of how much I was trying to get the shape perfect. And the more I was trying to get the shape perfect, the worse it was looking. But also the better on some spots. 
So, I use this. You can tell that it's pretty much can't be used anymore. And what I was doing, and the reason why it took so long, and I wish I knew this before, is because there was no, nowhere, like, I could literally, like, grind this on my thumb for, like, ages, and nothing would happen to my thumb. So, that's what was happening to the pieces. Nothing was happening. Nothing was sanding. And I was sanding for hours and hours and hours throughout that day using paper, sandpaper that wasn't sandpaper anymore, basically. So then I had to use the only other sandpaper I had, which was 60 grit. And then this is actually still good as new. So, um, yeah. And then after that, I had sanded too far on almost all the sides. And I had to refill all the sides to get it back to the correct shape. I gotta be careful about turning this because of the removable caps. I haven't super glued it yet. Anyways, after... I also use scotch Bright to burnish all the pieces. Now basically what burnishing does is it makes... It helps you round over... Kind of like, like burnish the pieces, but also like make the pieces look more round. It, just from my experience. It also makes pieces like lose their grippiness. So it feels more smooth. So basically the pieces will feel more smooth after you use Scotch-Brite. And that's why I use Scotch-Brite. And then I kept sanding. And then I sent it down too far again, and then I had to fill it, fill it up again. By the time I've had to fill it up again, it was September 16th. And I kept sanding with the sandpaper. Basically what I was doing was I was... Okay, where did I put it? Where the heck did I put it? Oh, I put it down here. Just pretend like there's Milliput in here. I was basically sanding the pieces like this. Yeah, I I put the puzzle. I took the. This is a this is a prop, anyways. It doesn't. Need, it's worthless. I used it for this video, anyways. Um, this I I went through the agonizing process of. I kept sanding down too far because I wanted to make the shape look perfect. I it would have it would have looked so uh, it would have looked a lot better if I was cutting it and I realized that the caps didn't fall off and then I had to throw them away forever. So yeah, um, I it was by the time I was done sanding, it had already been. September 18th and then I was done sanding all the pieces were done all the pieces were filled all the pieces were sanding down and the pieces look like <laughs> like this okay where did I put it oh I have the root over there all right I grabbed it from because I threw it across my room for no reason I don't know why I did that anyways um just pretend like this is filled with a bunch of mil white milliput. Okay, so I had it all filled up. Everything was finished. Everything was sanded down. It was spectacular. Actually, I, I forgot to take these stickers off so you can... I mean, all, the all the stickers were off. It was a fully black puzzle with center caps and mil milliput just inside the pieces to level it out and... Honestly, oh, actually, I want to tell you the way I made this. I you I got a bandsaw and a belt sander for my birthday, so I'm gonna be making more modifications. <laughs> like, actually, I'm in the process of I'm almost done with it. I'm almost done with the puzzle. It's this one. I just started stickering it, but as you can see, when you have machinery. It turns way better. It turns way better when you have like actual machinery. And you use epoxy sculpt instead of milliput. Yeah, but overall it's a... Uh... Mm. 
It's a really good puzzles. I'm ar I'm already got some of the white side down and and I already am beginning on the purple. Okay, so that's for later. That should be coming out um in a few weeks. Anyways, after I was done, since the puzzle was white and black, I had to make it look black so that it would look better. And plus I, I couldn't find the right spray paint for white anyways, and plus white looks ugly, I don't like it. It's just an ugly color for puzzles in my opinion. I like black better because it like, the lines in the pieces feel, you can, it feels more visible. And yeah, anyways. After I was done sanding all the pieces, I got a bunch of boxes, went up to the front porch, and recorded me spray painting the puzzle. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to make the puzzle look way nicer. And white and black does not look good. So I had to make it look only one color, which was black. And after I would... It took like three hours to spray paint it. And after that, I waited 24 hours to dry and for it to dry. And then I put it back together. I actually waited too short of a time because like the spray paint's cheap that week that I got so it just like didn't dry good enough so I had to put a bunch of lube in here and after actually I think this needs more lube I lubed this thing like two months ago so I'm just gonna put a few drops right here one two oh okay and then I got some lube on the pieces. And then three, four. And then basically what I did when I lubed it up was actually I actually the way I break in puzzles is I do this. Yeah, that turns way nicer. It's part of the reason why this puzzle turned so nice. I didn't mean to do that. And then uh, after I was done, uh, the reason why, yeah, the spray paint was cheap, so I had to use, I had to wait for, uh, like, uh, it drew, the pieces dried together, basically, and it, it, it's a, it takes, like, three days to dry, and then I only waited one. And usually when you only wait one and things are still drying, they dry, they bond together because that's a chemical reaction with spray paint. So I had to rip all the pieces apart and then put it back together again. And anyways, after I was done spray painting, it was a full force cube. It was awesome. The cube felt kind of sticky. It was, it, the outside was still drying. And after it was fully dried... Um, it was a four, it was basically this, but a force cube. With no, uh, with no stickers on it. It was just this, but with no stickers on it. And I actually scrambled the cube once when it was not stickered. And that was a really, 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 really huge mistake. And the reason why it was a really huge mistake was because when I scrambled it, the, 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 the this corner and this corner are not the same. Like... It, I, if I were to line this up over here, you can see the ray and the like little rays in the pieces, and like the pieces are not perfect. The it, like pieces are not identical; they're asymmetrical, and that is the reason why me and my dad took hours to reassemble. Try and find each piece, go through every single piece for where each piece was supposed to go, and we had to fully figure out where each piece go and, and had to go. And actually, some pieces might even be in the wrong spot right now, but I don't think it is. This is the best it can get. Anyways, after that agonizing process, I had a force cube, right? And luckily, it was my birthday. So, I was talking about getting a bandsaw and a belt sander earlier. And when I got that bandsaw and that belt sander, I knew uh, the reason why I asked for it is because I wanted to make a bunch of puzzle mods. And I, I, that's what I'll be doing. 
I'll be making a bunch of mods. Um, because I think it will just be fun. It, it would be fun to have a, a bunch of different types of puzzle mods that I myself created for your entertainment and my entertainment too. Actually, let's just get this out the frame. Anyways, after it was my birthday, right? And as a birthday present, I guess my sister wanted to be nice for, to me for once, so she helped me sticker this puzzle. She did half, I did half. We both helped each other sticker this whole puzzle, and I really thank my sister for that. She stayed up from 8 p.m. until 4 in the morning with me, and then she went to bed. I, we... All I had to do was do this whole side right here, and then I was fully done. So she helped me um, sticker all of it. So um, I appreciate that she did that because I would have um, it would have been taking way longer to sticker it. Anyways, after I was done stickering, I had to take off the stickers and re-sticker them because the stickers are not that sticky. And after that, this is this was the final result. Uh, fully functional Tetradecagon 3x3. Three three. This will also give you a, like, well, give you, like, a perspective on what it looks like scrambled. Alright guys, I think, nah, I could do better than that. I took, it took me from August 22nd to October 8th. And after that, I finished the puzzle. I was so excited to upload it to YouTube, and then it just turned out that all the clips were gone, so I couldn't upload it, this amazing first creation that I ever made. You you can't, or you can't remake that, so it just sucks that I lost that. Um, it's, yeah, it's just annoying. I wish I would have never lost it, but whatever happens, happens, I guess. And uh, I'm 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 bothered by it, but it was just really depressing for a few days because I lost that and I couldn't get it back. And anyways, this is what the puzzle looks like scrambled. And anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then subscribe. Anyways, peace.